Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing a Halloween box. So happy Halloween guys. Today is obviously it's 31st of October, it's Halloween. And what day to um, celebrate it than open a mystery box. So guys, I have not had a cult box since last year. I am so bad, but I have been so busy like dipping into small independent businesses and so forth that I've kind of like tried to get through a whole list this year of 2020 and I've done pretty well guys I think I've got through 40 small businesses this year yay so obviously next year will be the start of um, more small independent businesses some that I've already tried that I will obviously dip back into because I absolutely love them and then um, I will be grabbing a few um, subscription boxes for a couple of months here and there just to try a few. Um, so there you go. So this one, guys, is um, a collaboration one with Curology and Lewis, Lewis Goody. Goody? Don't, don't hate me. I'm trying to... Goody? Goody or Goody? I don't know which one it is. But um, we're going to go and talk a little bit about all three and we'll get stuck in and open it. So I've got a cup of tea today, guys. I've got a nice black carrot and strawberry tea in obviously the King's Cup, which is Jack Skeleton. Right, so let's get my glasses on. So, guys, a cult box. As you know, I featured a cult box on my channel a few times last year and this time last year i actually did a an occult mystery box on halloween and i absolutely loved it so i will link them in the eye guys so you get to see what i got last year since then occult box has changed massively in their boxes and what they do so when i first started getting a cult box boxes were kind of personalized to you um on your preferences what you liked what you don't like and so forth but then misha and kyle moved into a bigger place and um was able to start doing something even bigger and grander so they've started doing um themed subscription mystery boxes every month um i have not grabbed any of them i have seen them i do have one thing which is from the memento mori let me just grab it guys and the only reason i've got this was it was gifted to me from the lovely Danita from DMC Designs. Um, I did tell her that I was gutted that I missed out. I did actually try and buy the Memento Mori, but it sold out. I absolutely love that box. In that box, also featured Hannah Horror. Um, so since then, I have dabbled into Hannah Horror and so forth. And now I can't get my picture frame back up. Absolutely loved it. These are businesses that I will dip back into probably, well, for the rest of my days guys because i think i prefer small businesses over the bigger businesses although i do still dive into the bigger businesses now and again just because there's something on there that tickles my fancy so guys with that said mystery box did start uh, a cult box sorry did start in 2018 it's run by the lovely misha and kyle um they kindly um sent me a a get well card last year it was this time last year that i was recovering from my um huge operation and do you know what there's little things like that you wouldn't get from kilsa <laughs> or asos or anything like that because they don't care small businesses care guys and that's why i like to dip into them so um a cult box do mystery boxes uh, mystery loot boxes they do them on a monthly basis they do give you some time to catch up if you want to like jump into that if you don't want to tie yourself into subscription you can just buy the odd box here and there which is what i've always done with a cult box i've never kind of the only time i did um a subscription was the five pound mystery bags that they did and I absolutely love them as well so they i don't know if they still do the mystery bags i know they do the boxes and they've still got everything on on their site that's to sell all spooky and witchy and all things great like that um but they've been doing a lot of collaborations guys and i absolutely love that um as i've only ever grabbed something from the momentum mori i've not grabbed anything from anything else so this is a complete mystery to me i have no idea i've not seen any spoilers i don't think misha wants anyone putting spoilers on until we've all had our boxes and we've all opened them 
and she knows that everybody's told her that they've got the boxes. So then they've been in collaboration with Curology. Now they are on my list. They're on my list to complete this year, guys. I absolutely love what Curology do as well. They started in October 2010, so soon it'll be their anniversary. So happy anniversary, Curology. Curiology. Curiology. Um, now they do amazing um, jewelry from alchemy jewelry to runes and witchy jewelry, spooky jewelry. Um, unicorns wooden jewelry they do pin badges they do patches they also do um a coven i think it's a coven club monthly box it's 10 pound you get a necklace a pin badge i think it's an exclusive pin badge you get a scroll and you get like a raffle ticket or it's an entry to something that they're going to be doing i like the sound of that i may dive into that box for a few months and grab a few of their jewelry i mean the alchemy pieces are absolutely amazing. Obviously, for me as well, things like the ruins, because, yep, I've got my fair who on from Scarlet and Change. Satanic Panic, I should say. Um, and the prices are really, really reasonable, guys. They're from £20, but up to about £30 down, round about that mark. Um, she does some really, really unusual things on there absolutely amazing every time i've seen things that have popped up and i've been like oh i'm skin but i like it and then we've got lois lois or lois i don't know how i'm saying i think it's lois now she's a tattoo apprenticeship she's been on etsy since 2019 she's got 477 sales well done she does lots of cute and creepy prints i've seen a few and as you know i'm diving into prints so i probably will dive into lois next year and try some of her prints she's got a, an offer on three prints at 14 pound for 25 pound that's a really good offer i will link curiology and lois and a coat box on the description box so you get to see what they do and what they have and so forth and with that said so it's come in this box. It didn't take that long to arrive. I got a notification telling me it was being um, packaged and then I got a notification to say that it was on its way and then I got a package saying it's been dispatched. So they tell you every bit of stage so you know when it's coming and so forth. And it's come in this box and it has this sticker so you can identify it is that one just in case you open it up thinking it's something else. Um, and then all my details are at the bottom. Didn't notice that before. Um, and then it has a return sender details on there just in case for any reason, but I wouldn't imagine there'd be a reason. So let's crack this open guys and see what's inside. Okay guys, sussed it out. So let's just tuck that in there. I had a little peep then. And let's just open this baby up. Oh, look at that. So on the top is the Blessed Simone, oh, Samhain, little thing on there. And there's a bat and some little pieces on there. Let me just take this card off. So it says here, Happy Halloween, Blessed Samhain, Samhain. I keep saying Samhain, Samhain. And then at the back, <laughs> it's a little ghost with a pumpkin saying, too sweet to be sad. Oh, it's well cute. That's going in my frame. Yes, 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 it is. So that's my first item, guys, because it is an item. And then there's one of these bats that I have all over my fireplace. But all the things are stuck to it. So these, you like stick a little tape on it and you can bend it and it, they look amazing. I'm glad I've got one of them, guys, because I was going to I was gonna take these off after Halloween and use them for something else. Emily Boo's just done something with um, like these ring things where you can make, I don't know what it is, but really, really good. So guys, it says on the sticker, a coat box. And then let me just put them down. Yay, so straight away guys, I can see orange paper and I can see something that says trick or treat. And it says vegan jelly sweets. Yummy, I'm not vegan guys, but oh, look at them. How cute are them? So here's my first item guys and it says trick or treat vegan jelly sweets and then at the back of that it's vegan and it tells you everything that's inside there ingredients and so forth and what i can see there's i think there's vampire teeth some stars in there i mean i bet they're quite nice actually i know somebody who would like these um but i haven't decided i may keep them for me and zach for a movie night because i think it's it's nice little little chewy i don't think he likes sweets but he might have a lick of them so that's my second item guys because i always class that print as being an item and then let me just oh oh let me just take that nearly <laughs> jesus 
spider. <laughs> my heart kind of just lifted up slightly then. So guys, this is what I can see in front of me. I'm going to pull it down now, guys, so I don't drop everything out. And let's get stuck in. Let's bend this down. So first thing I'm going to grab, because I absolutely love these, is the Stanford Witch's Curse. Um, these are the incense cones, guys. I'm actually... I'm going to be buying an incense cone holder because I do have lots of incense holders but I want a cone one and I've seen a couple uh, gothic looking ones that I want to get so I'm glad I've got them um, I don't know mm, I like the scent of these does it say the scent on them? I don't know if it says the scent now mm. Now, as you know, I go into my local shop and I buy everything like this and I was going to buy some cones. So at least I've got some to get me started for the season. So that is my third item. And I know what I've got here, which I'm really excited about because I've got one already. And now I've got two. So this is a bath bomb, I think, guys. There's a little spider on there, which me up when I first opened the box because I was like, <laughs> you didn't see the expression and obviously this is a bath bomb i think you put it under the tap and let it thing i may give this one to zach because i have one or i'll keep this one and and vice versa but that's the second one i've got now in my collection so one each i you know i share with my little boy so and it's a quite a good weight that as well guys so that is my cauldron spider cauldron I've got, see guys, when you've used these, you can actually reuse these cauldrons. Um, you could put that. That's quite a hard plastic compared to the other one that I've got. That's quite a hard one. You could actually remake the bath bombs. If you know how to do it, you can buy bath bomb kits that'll make you do it, um, which I might do next year and save all these. I've got a pumpkin pot as well. So that is my one, two, three, four, fourth item there, guys. Oh, what's this? Oh, is it a patch? Oh, it is. It's a haunted patch. Now, guys, I can't sew. All my patches are iron on. But I'm going to give this to my mother-in-law and see if she can stitch it on my jacket. Absolutely love that. And it just says haunted with three little ghosties. And I think it's that, that stuff that you can't iron over because it will, like, melt it. But that's that, guys. And it's in the perfect round, which is great because it can go right in the middle of my pocket on my other jacket. Because on the other side, I've got a round jack skeleton. Or I'll put the star there. I can't really remember. But that's my next item, guys. <laughs> Ooh, I can see something here that I'm really intrigued about. So in here is... That's Curiology, guys. So I'm going to save that one to last. But what's this I can see? Ooh. What is this? It's a piece of material. Yay! Yay! Another totes bag. I love my totes bags. I've got one that's um, from Plundering Productions that goes crossbody. I absolutely love it. I take it everywhere. But to have another one so I can have one crossbody and it's got long, long... Yes, guys, check that out. That's perfect for me because it's the right length. Um, I've got loads of tote bags that are not very long and I can never get them to sit on my shoulder. Now on the front is a witch's hat, cobwebs and a pumpkin. And it's really nice material, guys. Really, really nice material. And it's quite a first size as well, guys, as you can see. Great for putting all your tiny little knickknacks in, like incense or bath bombs or anything like that, little hand creams. There's things like that that, you know, or makeup that I like to put in bags that I is secure next to me. So I love that. So that's my one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. My sixth little item. Love that. Thank you very much. And then I've got this. What's this? Test tube. What is this? Oh, it's a... Uh, I can't read without my glasses, guys. This is really good, this box. I really enjoyed this. This is a Samhain spell. So I reckon there's probably... Is there a... Oh, here it is. The little piece of paper. And it says the Samhain spell. Mugwort, marigold, flower and orange. Mmm. Mugwort amplifies psychic visions and di div divination. Oh, this is useless divination. Marigold ensures good sleep and keeps away bad dreams. Guys, this will probably work for me. I'm not doing too good with sleep at the minute. And when I do actually sleep, I'm having a lot of, I don't know if they're negative dreams. They're just not the best dreams. Yeah, I'm not going to go into that. And it says orange brings prosperity, uplifting mood and mindset. Multi-use spell. Use as an altar offering. Burn as a divan, divin, I can't say that word. 
dive under a tree, incense, or place on the pillow to enhance psychic ability, aid sleep, and dispel negative dreams. That is really, really good, guys. I'm going to keep that, and I may just do that. Let me just have a... Mm. Oh, what up my nose? <laughs> wow, that tickled. It's so, you can't actually smell the orange in that, guys. That's really cute. I like that. I might, I don't know if I should just keep that because I am going to be doing a little altar. So I might just keep that to put on my altar or I may just put some under my pillow. So that's the uh, next item. And then here I've got <laughs> a little sign, a little wooden block sign. And it says, witching you a happy Halloween. How cute is that? That's really cute. I'm gonna put that over there with my little witchy things. Or I might put that on my, my little altar thing. And it's quite a solid block of wood, guys. And it's got all like glitter on it as well. And it says this is from the haunted house, designed in Cornwall. They've actually got an Instagram page, guys. So haunted house on Instagram, you go and have a look. I reckon you can find those little signs like this. So that is amazing. Right, so next. Yes, I seen uh, Making It Up, Kirsty. she got this in her box of goth and I was jealous because I said I want one. I know last year I got the, bloody hairs my nose, I got a skull one from my occult box and I've still got that upstairs. Anything like this guys, I won't burn it, I'll just keep it on my little, my little coffin unit. And it's a pumpkin, how good are them guys? It doesn't smell of anything, it's just wax. But how cute is that? I'd like to get the whole set of them. I might ask Misha where she got them from so I can order the rest of them. And then I know something here that I'm going to absolutely be happy about. <laughs> spooky messages. Oh, it says spooky musings. Musings. So obviously it's a little pad, a little notepad. This is great for putting your shopping on or for me um orders of videos that's coming out things that i want to buy anything in general guys and it's a good solid piece it doesn't say where it's from or anything but as you can see it's got ghosts pumpkins bats bones candy corn on there everything that you love about halloween so that is that guys amazing now my last two items i think on here is from our collaboration so let me just grab or is there is there more in here I think there might be a cheat sheet in here. <laughs> oh my God. Um, right, yeah. Okay. So, spooky small business coupon book. Oh, okay. So, here's my print, which is from Lois Goody. Goody? Is it Goody? It'd be Goody, wouldn't it? Lois Goody. Oh, I love this. Oh, and I've just bought some, some frames as well, guys. So, it says, Happy Halloween. As you can see, there's coffins. Coffins on there, bats, knives, cats, skulls, candy corn, pumpkins, vampire teeth, everything we love about Halloween. And it says here, Lewis Goody, www.etsy.com slash UK slash shop slash Lewis Goody at, at Instagram at Lewis.goody. Now, guys, I will link everything down below, but this is a really good quality print, guys. It's on really good thick card, as you can see not a thin piece of paper nice thick quality card i absolutely love that i think this will be going with all my other prints i have got so many prints at the minute guys but i am actually putting them up on my wall my husband's letting me yay so i think this one might go in here actually on the wall there and i love it so thank you for that thank you thank you thank you and last but not least curiology in another stripy bag that i absolutely love and there's a little sticker that has the curiosity, curiology symbol. Can't bloody speak today, guys. So let's crack it open and see what we have inside. Oh yay! There's something else in there. Oh! Oh, how cute! Yay! Pin badge! <laughs> I'm collecting pin badges. So here I've got the um, little planchette in a heart shape. Oh, and it's got a little hole in it and everything. I can't can't quite see what trick or treat it says on it, guys. There you go. So that's a pin badge, that's from Curiology. And then my necklace. Ah, oh, this is well cute. Is a cat. And I think it's on this acrylic. Like printed acrylic. Or is it wood? I don't know if that's acrylic or wood. 
it might be acrylic but it's on this really nice silver chain guys and then there it is how cute is that that's cute i like that and it's got the halloween colors obviously it's got orange in there and i think it's about a 16 inch chain guys let me just let me just estimate yeah i think it's about a 16 inch chain i won't put it on at the minute but thank you for that curiology that is absolutely lovely so i like this box guys it's been such a long time since i've done a subscription box right so here is the curiology uk card as you can see there and at the back it says facebook slash curiology uk email shop at curiology uk but again guys i will put everything in the link box down below so you can go and check it out um so that is that guys so last but not least small it says spooky small business coupon book oh this is really good this is really good so it has all coupons inside guys so you can have money off from small businesses oh wow i can't get it open right guys just give me a minute right so we've got 15 percent off a coat box first page and then we've got pocket full of pumpkins which is oddity screaming oh there's so many in here guys as you can see if you want any of the codes or any information on here let me know big one here which is hannah horror her shop is shut at the minute because her, her husband's not very well but um i do have hannah horror, hannah horror, hannah horror codes uh, as it is anyway um and then obviously there's some more there's some more in here change of charms is in here as well me buddy are me <laughs> uh, vegan witch they've got absolutely loads in here there's my necklace um wow i think this is really 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 good simply gothic is in here as well kirsty um the haunted bouncy castle oh wow there's so many in here this is brilliant some that i've never even heard of guys so that's nice to to know alley cats is in here i've heard of alley cats they're on my list and then it has the alternative market on there and it gives you a list if this i think this is what's to come guys on the alternative market today and yesterday so if you haven't joined this tonight guys at seven o'clock to eleven o'clock it's the alternative market all these small independent businesses will be coming together to showcase you some goodies hopefully i'll have some money for that so i can grab some things and then you've got this print which i know is for sale i think it might be 350 on a cult boxes um website it's okay not to be okay and i can identify with that more stairs guys and it says here help resources and charities and then they've got the sofa lancaster foundation on their samaritans and then a few others as well that is absolutely amazing i love that i love that that was just i just love that i just love this box well done to misha and kyle lois and curiology that was amazing i absolutely love that i feel sad i've finished there you go guys that is my halloween occult box have a lovely lovely halloween guys don't forget to check out all these businesses curiology louis goody and the occult box Mwah. have a very very good night i know things are not the same this year but get your jammers on guys have a bath get your jammers on get your goodies get them horror movies on or just some films nightmare before christmas for us with your children and enjoy halloween nice warm and safely take care guys have a lovely lovely halloween and um mwah, thank you misha oh my hair's fell down with excitement <laughs> i'll see you guys on the next video bye for now don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.